facial spasm is a disorder characterized by unilateral irregular clonic or tonic movements of the muscles innervated by the facial nerve commonly seen among middle aged women it is disabling due to social embarrassment and in extreme cases can interfere with vision the spasm involves the orbicularis oculi corrugator superciliaris procerus zygomaticus major and minor and mentalis muscles it starts as increased frequency of blinking and progresses to forced closure of the eyelids and later can involve the rest of the face in some patients even the platysma may be involved it acts by blocking the release of acetylcholine at the neuromuscular junction in this video we demonstrate the technique of targeted chemo denervation for hemifacial spasms botulinum toxin available in the dry form is reconstituted with normal saline 50 units botulinum toxin type a is reconstituted with 2 ml of 0.9% sterile saline solution to yield a concentration of 2.5 units per 0.1 ml the patient is seated comfortably upright or in a reclining position injection sites and dose are determined by careful clinical examination of the involved muscle this patient has spasms involving the orbicularis zygomaticus depressor and mentalis the spasms are less frequent the injection sites are cleaned with normal saline using a 30 gauge needle 2.5 units of botulinum toxin is given at the glabella targeting the procerus and the corrugator superciliaris 2.5 units above the eyebrow into the orbital part of the orbicularis Two point five units subcutaneously into the upper lid in divided dose, and two point five units to the lower lid centrally and laterally. The zygomaticus major and minor draw the angle of the mouth backward and upward, so the patient is asked to smile, and the taut muscle is identified on palpation. and 2.5 units into the zygomaticus major and minor and 2.5 units into the mentalis are given the lateral canthal injection is the most painful and usually reserved to the end Patient is advised to avoid rubbing of the face for about 4 hours following the injection and is reviewed at 3 weeks when the maximum effect of the injection is noted. Adjustment of dosage can be done at the next visit based on the patient's response. The dose and site of injection can be documented using diagrams for further reference. Injection into the preceptal part should be avoided. to minimize diffusion to the levator and subsequent development of ptosis the inferomedial part of the lower leg should be avoided to prevent epiphora from lacrimal pump failure injection into the nasalis muscle can obstruct breathing the orbicularis oris should be avoided as it can cause paralysis of the mouth and drooling all these undesired effects are transitory and resolve over a period of 2 to 3 weeks Target chemo denervation is a safe and effective technique of treatment of hemifacial spasms.